I'm Vessi. I come from Finland. I consider myself a, as a preventive health expert. Plus, I'm also the CEO and product developer of Sally Systems. So, uh, my my main uh, business is uh, developing seating uh, ergonomic environments for different professions and so on. Um, and uh, I've been on this job which started accidentally about 27 years, and uh, I have lots and lots of ideas for different environments for the future, driving, paddling, sleeping, and so on. I'm not at my best now. I have slept badly, because I was stupid enough to forgot my pillow at home. I have developed a new pillow, which I'm going to patent next week. <laughs> <laughs> I had to sleep on horrid uh, hotel pillow, which spoiled my night. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I have a colleague. Yes, my name is Emilia, and when I'm not in Stockholm wearing muscle suits, I'm based in Norway studying medicine. And I met Vesi in Finland uh, at the last biohacker summit. And uh, I was surprised when he approached me and asked me some anatomy and physiology questions and I couldn't answer. And uh, he also asked me uh, about my habits of sitting in clothing and I was surprised about my ignorance about the subject in a way. So I was very eager when you challenged me to, to um, change some of my habits and uh, I will tell you a little bit about my experience with changing clothes and changing my sitting habits uh, later. So here we have a, a pelvic pressure chart on, on a regular chair. So there is a pressure pressure all over the place. Here we have an undivided saddle chair. And uh, what remains there is this uh, strong pressure on the pubic bone and on that the, the same place on genitals at the same time. Uh, and there we have a, a pressure charge on a chair like that, which is split in the middle, and the sit bones carry you. So the disturbing pressure area is, is quite limited, and it's, it's quite safe. Um, there is a man sitting on the, in the underwear on a, on a chair like that. So I, I borrow this for a little bit now. And... Uh, if, if you can see the details, uh, when I'm sitting on this one, now I'm sitting there so that I leave my trousers like tight between these, these parts. So my testicles and other pelvic floor soft tissues, they go in a little bit. So it doesn't feel all that bad, but uh, I feel that there is some pressure which comes from the tightness of the, of the clothes uh, to my, to my um, pelvic floor tissues. But if I sit down there so that I will grab my trousers and lift up a little bit and then sit down, too high, then sit down like this. Now you probably can see that my pelvic floor tissues and testicles are in the gap. The same as here. <laughs> yeah, and that's where they should be because there, are, there is a lot of, there is a lot of uh, tissues and so on and they are full of, of circulation. So in the body we have 400 to 500,000 kilometers of lymph and, and blood microvessels together. So every 100 grams contains 700 kilometers. And it's important. But now we are going to the female uh, sitting on the, on the chair as well. So the female's genitals outside the body are much, much smaller than men, but they too need ventilation. They do need release from pressure, and they do need also um, drier air. So that if we summarize the things what we need in sitting environment to, to keep uh, as health, good genital health in sitting environment as possible. First, don't have tight clothes. No strings here, no theater. So you shouldn't have any marks on the skin when you undress yourself to go to bed. You shouldn't have. Secondly, um, whatever underwear or clothes and so on, they should be lofty so that there is good ventilation over there. And especially we know that women, if they have several layers of different protections and clothes over there, they do get uh, infections so easily in their, in their vulva area. Men, not so in easily, 
but uh, also men, men uh, get other problems. The thirdly, uh, you need to get up once in a while. Okay, I was, I was just doing the, the summarizing that what we should do to maintain the genital health in, in the sitting con conditions. So we, we have this uh, loose and, and lofty um, trousers or clothes in general. For women, it would be best to have just a skirt or dress which is wide enough to spread the legs, sit on, on chair like that, sit on the gap to have very, very uh, loose, nice underwear or nothing at all. And for men, definitely leave the underwear away. Where, what do you need underwear for, guys? Just learn to wash your butt after toileting and, <laughs> and, and leave the underwear away. Then you drop the, the temperature of your, your testicles to the healthy level of 33. And, uh, and, and, and that's it. Then you can maintain your manhood, good testosterone, good sperm production, much longer. Much longer, really. And it's cheaper. And many girls like men who don't have underwear. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are certain protective supplements, definitely vitamin D, selenium, and, and so on and so on. And some natural herbs, which, which are good to have. Uh, so for the, for the sake of genital health. And then getting up in the, in the work when you are doing. Get up once a, uh, one time an hour, for sure. Go to, even if you sit, no matter how well, you still need the exercise, you need the motion to get the circulation going. <coughs> um, and, uh, and then also do pelvic floor muscle exercises. So that's, that's very good for men to improve their, your erection and, and very good for girls to improve your pelvic floor muscles to avoid all these nasty examples which I showed you on the slides. Um, one more thing for men, which you may not know, some of them you, you may know, that I'm finishing, that uh, <laughs> when men get, we all know that men get so-called unsexual um, uh, erections once in a while. Treasure it, maintain it. So do the pelvic floor muscle tensions so that you can maintain the, the, the erection longer. You can even touch your genitals because every time when you have erection, your testosterone production is numerously bigger than in normal times. Keep that in mind. Thank you. <laughs>